So hello everyone who is watching our uh, monthly community call. Uh, here uh, where uh, together with uh, developers of OnCall are going to see latest updates and uh, answer questions if there will be any. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube and want to join the next community call, go and check the link below the video in the description. Uh, it's an open event, so everyone is able to join, ask questions, propose something, and talk to the engineers who are working on the um, referendum call. Uh, together, uh, to, today we will show two things. Uh, first, uh, Vadim will show uh, update updated version of direct paging. It works much better now, and uh, it we fixed uh, use case when you are a member of larger org and you want to invite some team. So Vadim will take uh, talk a lot uh, a little bit about this, and uh, later I will share. Uh, the latest, really latest update we made in OnCall, literally a few minutes ago, uh, which increased the speed of loading the plugin. Uh, I will just show a sneak peek how fast it's working now. So, Vadim, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Vadim. I'm a software engineer here at Grafana Labs working on the Grafana OnCall. Uh, today, I'm going to share uh, a bit of the update that we did on the direct paging feature. It's basically a feature to page people manually. Um, we already had it in place, but recently we introduced some changes. I'll just go ahead and quickly show a quick demo. So uh, here we have our Grafana on call. Basically, um, if you want to page someone manually, you can use this button, new alert group, you just click it. And now we have basically three or four fields that we need to fill in. Uh, previously, that was uh, a bit more. You could uh, make that pretty granular, but it wasn't solving the use case when you want to really like bring someone from a team. And I believe this use case should be solved by the latest update and the whole direct paging feature experience should be much more streamlined now and it should be uh, it should work much better and in Slack too. So yeah, I'll just show how it works. Just quick demo. So as a title, we'll just uh, uh, select some something simple. Help me, please. My printer is on fire. Just the regular stuff. And the, the, the biggest change here in this feature is that now direct paging integrations are linked to teams and teams can configure their escalation chains and their uh, chat ops channels. So basically here I have this test team is just a demo team that I want to share. And here you can see that Grafana on call automatically selected the right direct paging integration for this team. Uh, it will tell you which chat ops channel it uses. So you will see this, this alert that I'm going to create in random in Slack. So that's, that's, that's good. And you also can jump to, to this integration and just check out different settings where it will be posted, which escalation chain it uses and uh, stuff like that. So let me, uh, so yeah, that's the, the, the first use case when you just want, you have a problem and you want to solve it, bringing someone from a team. So you just select the team, you fill in the team and message, then just click create, ta-da. Uh, so basically um, you have created an alert group and it will be assigned to this uh, test team escalation chain because it was selected in this integration. So basically every team is free to configure their escalation chains as they want and they still will get a page in their respective chat ops channels and escalation chains. Um, just a like, few words about teams. You can configure teams at the, at the Grafana level. So it's not only bound to the, to the plugin, to the Uncle plugin, but it's a, a team is a concept of uh, like main Grafana product. And so basically you just can create a new team. Let's make another one. I just show you 
Uh, I'll just show you how you can set up a team set, and set up a direct page in integration for this. So we created a team, add your users. Uh, for this case, only I'm in this team. Then go to on-call. On-call will actually automatically uh, sync your teams when you create it. Uh, so let's, let's see our integrations maybe. Yeah, it's my local setup, so things might get broken. So yeah, uh, basically, if we try to create a new alert group for this team, let's just try it out, demo team, you will get a warning. This is because it's a new team. You don't have direct paging integration for that uh, for that team. And basically, it will tell you that you can uh, uh, set up an integration for, for this team. Also, it will link you to the docs. I will talk about, talk about it a little bit later. So uh, to create a direct paging team, you can either go here and just go ahead, like uh, not, not looking at any warnings. You just can create the, the, the alert group and you will create a direct paging integration automatically. So, and there's uh, just, you can create new integration, just search for direct paging. It's a type of integration. So I'll just call it demo uh, direct paging. And you can assign it to a team, for example, demo team in this case. So we create the integration. We can uh, set up some escalation chains, Slack channels, and stuff like that. So in this one, uh, I'll just leave it empty and post it to Slack channel, for example, be it general. So yeah, I'll go ahead and create a new alert group. Help me. Demo team help needed. And here you can just select the demo team. It will be, uh, you will be uh, told which chat ops channels it will be posted to. So for example, in this case, general, uh, you'll get a warning because uh, this particular direct paging integration doesn't have a escalation chain configured, but that's okay. And in this case, let's also page someone additional. So you can actually go ahead and uh, pick your users or schedules. So in this case, I'll just, uh, pink test schedule. My user, my on-call user is actually on-call for this schedule. So I'll just go ahead and uh, notify that too. And yeah, we can just go ahead and create an alert group. And you will see that uh, it's, it's assigned to this demo direct paging integration that we created earlier. And also we have an additional responder on-call uh, this is because I have this user as on-call user for this test schedule that we pinged. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think it should make things much more easier uh, to to for solving this like basic use case when you want to bring someone from a team. So yeah, uh, this feature is also available in Slack. Uh, you can just type slash escalate and it will prompt you with like exactly the same fields: title, message, team to notify. The same warnings will be generated. The same additional responders can be added, and yeah, the the feature part here uh, became much much more much better. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, a few words about the documentation. We updated docs for this part of the product about direct paging. It should uh, it should be much more clear now on how to use it, on how to add responders for existing alert groups, for example. Uh, what to do with warnings, how to set up a direct paging for a team, and just like a, a basic use case on how to use it. Um, yeah, I'll share this link in the chat and that's pretty much it. Thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. So let's go to the next feature. I see it clips. So let's go to the next feature. Uh, next feature uh, will be, next update will be noticed by everyone, I guess, who ever used on-call. Uh, and I will share uh, how it was before and how it will be in the future. So this is my personal stack. And uh, let's remind ourselves how fast does it work. So if I go outside the phone call plugin and go back, 
we see this initializing plugin message, which sometimes takes a while, sometimes it's fast, but it was pretty much unavoidable. And in some environments, uh, it worked really slow. And I'm going to show the version, which is not yet in production, but will pretty soon be there. And unfortunately, engineer who built it, uh, Ildar, he is not here in the call. Uh, so I have to present it for himself uh, instead of him. So this is how it works now. If I go outside of on call and going back, it takes a few milliseconds. Oh, it's super fast. Uh, hope you like it. And that's it about updates. We are ready to show. Uh, thanks, everyone. Have a good uh, evening, morning. <laughs> See you next month. Bye bye. Bye.